Let's see what talking points Eric repeats. One of the most commonly cited alleged proofs of the globe Earth is the disappearance of ships sailing beyond the horizon as seen from an observer on shore. Globe Earthers since Aristotle have claimed the reason that ship hulls disappear before their mastheads when sailing away is due to the physical curvature of the Earth obfuscating their view. This simple supposed proof is still cited today by Neil deGrasse Tyson, Michelle Fowler, and other NASA spokespeople, but is easily shown invalid with the use of modern zoom technology. By fixing a good telescope or super zoom camera aimed at the horizon on a clear day, it is possible to bring ships that have completely disappeared beyond the supposed curvature of the Earth fully back into view. The fact of the matter is that the law of perspective on plane surfaces dictates and necessitates this phenomenon. For example, a girl wearing a dress walking away towards the horizon will appear to sink into the earth the farther away she walks. Her feet will disappear from view first, and the distance between the ground and the bottom of her dress will gradually diminish until after about a half a mile it seems like her dress is touching the ground as she walks on invisible legs. The same happens with cars speeding away. The axles gradually get lower and the wheels vanish until it appears as if the car is gliding along its body. The phenomena that you described is literally what the Earth's curvature causes, not convergence. Such is the case on plane surfaces. The lowest parts of objects receding from a given point of observation necessarily disappear before the highest. It has absolutely nothing to do with the supposed curvature of the Earth, and everything to do with the nature of vision. When you look out at the flat horizontal horizon, the ground appears to rise up from your feet to your eye level, and the sky appears to slope down from over your head to your eye level. A row of lamp posts appears to get shorter in the distance, but in reality they are all actually the same height. If you are looking out over a road or railway track, you will also notice the same phenomenon happening left to right. The parallel sides of the road or railway appear to converge at a point on the horizon, but in reality they never actually converge and remain parallel the whole length. This law of perspective is therefore an op- This frame literally shows the Earth's curvature. If it's not curvature, shouldn't it be the angled camera or the horizon line being misplaced? What is this? Optical illusion hardwired into the very way we perceive the world. Even without a zoom camera or telescope, it is simple to prove that ships sailing into the horizon are not disappearing beyond the curvature of a globe. Instead of looking straight ahead at the ship disappearing a few miles in the distance, first look to your left, where you can see equally far into the distance, and then look to your right, where you can see equally far again. In other words, you can see twice as far from left to right as you can see straight in front of you anyway. But for some reason, you think at just half the distance in front of you, ships are already disappearing over the supposed curvature of the Earth. This is even more obvious with the use of high-altitude balloons, which can reach heights of over 120,000 feet and can often see for hundreds of miles in all directions. As high as the camera climbs, the horizon rises to eye level, and any ships that seemed to disappear after a few miles are easily viewable again at altitude. Ironically, in this instance, Globe Earth apologists use the exact opposite excuse, and no matter your altitude, will claim you simply aren't high enough to see the mythical curvature of their fantastical ball Earth. In other words, they claim at ground level ships are disappearing beyond the physical curvature of their globe just a few miles away. But at high altitudes, where observers can see for hundreds of miles in all directions, that is somehow not high or far enough to see the curve. In reality, however, when the curvature math is applied for a globe of given proportions, we should be able to easily observe it, even at ground level. Eric Dubé, you can observe it on ground level. You would need a rectilinear lens camera that has an extremely big scope of vision, though not panoramic, 
and take a picture of the ocean. Then you can digitally vertically magnify the pictures and see what your images tell you.